Oh, oh yes, here we are. Welcome to Brothers in Gaming, everyone, and we are playing XCOM 2. I literally can't wait. So I've been waiting to play this game for a while, and uh, someone mentioned if I would be, and the question is, yes, I would be. Uh, hopefully me and Ryan will be doing something soon, but uh, until then I'm going to be playing this. Right, so a couple of things before we start. need to level with you guys. Um, this is going to be a blind playthrough, but I have actually played a tiny bit of this game already. But I played the tutorial mission, and I got my ass kicked like on the second bit. So I'm going to lower the difficulty when I play it through this time. Um, also, I'm not playing out max graphics, as you can probably tell, because my rig won't run it, which is really ridiculous, considering it'll run Fallout on nearly max. So, whatever. But I'm running it at a point now which I think is pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty good, it's not too slow, and it seems to go quite well. Um, I mean, I like it now, but if anyone wants to change it, then just let me know in the comments, and I will do my best. Uh, secondly, there's just a minor spoiler alert. I've not played this game. Like I said, it's going to be a blind playthrough, so um, if any of you have played it and finished it, then please try not to spoil anything for me, like upcoming aliens and weapons and stuff like that. And also a spoiler for anyone else who hasn't finished XCOM 1, as I may uh, relate back to it at times during the videos. Right, so... All that's out of the way, let's get started. So I'm going to go on Veteran this time because uh, I read this, appropriate for, for players for me with XCOM, and I thought, oh, that'd be fine, I'll just go on Commander, because, you know, in this first game, the second difficulty was too easy, and the third one was, like, just right. But we're going to go on Veteran because on Commander I got my ass kicked. I'm going to put the tutorial on because it's a cool little story bit at the beginning, and uh, I didn't actually finish the second tutorial mission because I suck. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So let's, uh, let's see what this game has in store for us. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Here we go, here we go. Advent forces are swarming to the blast point. We 
need to move on the package before they figure out what we're up to. Okay, so obviously it's going to run through some tutorial stuff, which uh, obviously I know and probably XCOM players know as well. But there are a couple of new things, but I imagine that everyone's watching this has probably already watched some sort of XCOM 2 playthrough of their own. So, but you know, but hey, whatever. So essentially what that's saying is that every every character gets two moves each, so that's, that's his first move. And this will be his second move now. It's better than nothing, but see if you can't find a safer position further out. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Okay. So far, so good. Two. Stay close. Keep pace with Crasher One. So this is now a dash because we'll be using both our moves in one go. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight till we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. So this is a cool little new feature, which is in XCOM 2. It's called Concealment. It essentially means that your guys are invisible until you get spotted by the first enemy, as long as you stay in cover. Um, and you don't get spotted, of course. And it allows you to plan ambushes and all sorts of things. It's very cool. I like, like the feature a lot, from what I've seen of it so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to dash up to this piece of cover here in concealment and they're not going to know we're here. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. Okay, so moving up this Ramirez. This is awfully close. Don't get spotted now, girl. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Well, here we go. Let's go for our first kill. Dead as fuck. Good shit. Okay, so that means we're obviously revealed now, so they're gonna be able to get a free move. So now basically that just tells us how we get uh, lose our concealment, which is quite they can see you now. common sense Not really. All, shoot first and celebrate later. No problem. Okay, so now we're going to make a really stupid move with the Ramirez, which I would never make if I was playing this in the actual I game. The bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. But we're going to take a shot at this dude anyway. <laughs> Fucking god. But like she said, there's left her dangerously exposed. The guns look wicked when they fire, I gotta be honest. Okay. So that's a nice miss there. But unfortunately, this guy's obviously flanked Ramirez, and now she's dead as fuck. Oh, Ramirez. Bless you. No, pressure to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. So now we're going to uh, counter that with a flank of our own. Let's get OC to move down here. Press the advantage before they get around you. And we'll kill this fucker here. At some point. Yes, shoot. Click. Fire weapon. There we go. One left. Shouldn't be too hard, just one guy left. They're closing in on me. Cover my flight. She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. She. 
Okay. Transmission. That's a fucking Central hell of a gun. Reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least there used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Hang on. Oh, so that's the guy central. Does that mean that's Central Officer Bradford from the first one? That'd be fucking wicked if it was. Like that young guy who helps you. But we got reinforcements coming in, so that's not something we can worry about right now. So let's get situated and get ready. So we're gonna get OC over to that car there, and we will be going into Overwatch. So the next, so the next prick that comes out of that transport is gonna be long gone. Alright, Central, after you. So we're literally just gonna uh, fuck it through there. By looks of it, just dive straight through the window. And you hit badass mode. Why not? Why not? Menace three, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self destruct. Okay, so we get to check body and stuff. So that, that gives us a scope. Our weapon. That's a good ship. That helps us with our critical hits, if I remember correctly. Right. Let's go, Kelly. Here comes the cavalry. Well, I think it's ominous as fuck. Oh, of course, he wears half a cloak. Because why wouldn't you? Nothing to show your rank like a piece of cloth, eh? They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. Oh, what shot. Here we go. Go on, OC. Ah, oh, booyah. So satisfying when they get shot. Well done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall them here. Well, you probably, you to be fair, you probably could have gone inside and got a much better position to shoot from. But all right then, if you want to play the hero. Ugh, of course you missed. What the? Yeah, you missed. I'm going for the door. All right, Cal, come on him, come on him. This is a new mechanic from this XCOM game as well, is the ability to hack to doors and stuff. Right the door security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. So that gives us the hacking option, that's number four. We also get the ability to sometimes uh, get one of these. So we're going to try and get the disguise signals. Ooh, not quite enough. But we did unlock the door. Good shit. Good. Let's go. Go on, Central. Get your ass in there. Moving to secure the package. So is that fucking gun, man. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? It is Bradford as well. I just saw Bradford written on his gun. Oh shit, what a beast. He's aged, isn't he? Right, so we can actually carry people now. We've got to carry this figure here. I'm not sure who this is. The entire 
security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Okay, they're moving in close. Oh, you gonna shoot OZ? Oh yeah, he's dead as fuck. I was a bit fucking morbid, wasn't I? No, Central, pressure one is down. You have to get out of there. Hmm. I seem to remember with when I uh had the graphics up a little bit higher. There was like blood and stuff, but I'm not sure why I turned off or turned down to get rid of that. But it is running quite well now, so I don't really want to fuck that up. Alright, so let's create a new entrance with the grenade. I nearly uh, threw that on myself. Okay, grenade. There we go. Fire in the hole. Sorry, I was clicking like fuck, but... Okay, we got exit. Time to remote now. Come on, Bradford, let's go, son. Works for me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Almost there. Stay focused. Oh Christ. <laughs> Can't shoot well like this though. That was close. Way too close. Yeah, could be much worse. Oh fuck, down to one life. Fire Medic. This is Gate Crasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Okay, so now we can call evac zones with this one as well, with this new tool here to call the Sky Ranger to place our own evac zones, which I think is cool as fuck. I'm not sure if you can do this all the time on every level, like if you use it when you're uh, when you think you're gonna be struggling. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. We'll have to wait and see. Let's right, so just get to the evac zone. Go, go, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, and now we can uh, evac. Run, Cal. Oh, that was close. That could be a lot worse. Ooh, hello. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright, fuck that then. <laughs> no, I guess this is base then. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. Cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. 
These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Ethereal. Pupillary response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told him it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. <laughs> Sick. So I guess the commander then that we played before us was we were captured. And here we are again. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. <laughs> it's damn good to be back, Bradford. Good to see you're still alive, too. I was worried he'd be dead as fuck in the, in the new game. Right, so, um, let's see. So we've got the research we need to go to, and we've got the archives. The which Dr. Shen put together, so Dr. Shen's still alive as well, which is cool. Alright, then. Um, right, so these are all things that I need to read. Um, but I think I'm going to make this quite short one and stop the video there. Um, so in the next one, we'll go to the research department and see what um, Dr. Tigan has to say. Uh, so and I'll give these a read-through in the meantime. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode, guys. I know a lot didn't really happen. The next one will hopefully be a bit more uh, exciting, I should say. Um, so I hope you join me as well. And we will uh, try to be going through this, hopefully. I'm probably really fucking failing. But we'll see. So until then, guys, hope to see you again soon. And take care.